Hey sisters, welcome back to part 2 of my Point Pili trip. As you can see, we are having breakfast before we head off to Pili Island. It's at a local spot called Gaspers Cafe, which specializes in these homemade sausages, which by the way, were amazing and you can even buy it by the pound and bring it home. They were excellent, but the pea meal bacon was a little disappointing. If you haven't checked out part 1 of the Point Pili trip, click the link at the top right or in the description below. When was the last time you saw one of these candy machine banks? I think you usually see these when you're at a real ma and pa shop. That means they've been around for a long time. <laughs> Day 2, we're going to the Pili Island and we're gonna board in a little bit. We just had breakfast at a ma and pa breakfast joint. Yeah. Oh, Look at that's so cool. It's my first time seeing like cars boarding onto the ferry. It was pretty empty taking the morning ferry. No lineups, no waiting, just straight in. The ferry is fairly large, so you likely won't get seasick from the trip, which I usually do because I get motion sickness. Oh, we can sit anywhere. Hello! I'm voicing over this entire part because the wind was too crazy and Miles wasn't able to clean up the audio. But it's okay, I'm talking about the Pili Island and how it's bigger in person compared to what you see on the map. The ferry ride takes about an hour and 30 minutes. It features reclining indoor chairs if you want to sleep through the whole ride. Outside has benches so you can take in the views or you can be romantic like our friends here. Ew. This guy needs to tie a shoe. Less windy on the back of the boat. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not as windy over here at the back. Oh, look at the tail of the boat. The first activity is our bike ride. We rented some bikes at Comfort Tech Bike Rental, which is around two minute walk from the port. Biking around the island was an awesome experience. Most of the natural greenery was kept intact which is something you rarely see in Toronto. Don't forget your bug spray! Are you sure? of the island, we decided to start riding back to the port area and check out the winery. There's some specific wines that you can only get here on Pili because the unique conditions that the island has. Afterwards, the heat started to get to us, so we stumbled upon this Pili ice cream shop. It was amazing, it's so creamy. Yum! Also has cookie dough and blueberry cheesecake. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> and mint chip. Wow! Is it yummy? Yummy. 
Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time to explore the entire island because we weren't staying overnight. But that's something I will want to do in the future for sure. Anyways, back to the mainland for some dinner. I told you we found legit tacos! Yummy! It was so good! Got some pizza from a local joint, but ew! We told them no olives! Ayya! trying to catch the sunset but look at the clouds it's so cloudy <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> 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 we go like <laughs> okay now carry I'm me too tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah our no, legs are so down the hill. <laughs> Hope you enjoy our little mini getaway. I'll see you in my next episode. Bye, sisters!